Hello dear students, this is Vivek and today I am going to explain a new topic that is sublimation. Okay children, children as we have studied in previous video the conversion of solid to liquid and liquid to gas and we have also studied their reverse. It means how the vapors on cooling convert into liquid and liquid into solid but children there are few sub solid substance which directly changes from solid to vapor okay without changing into the liquid and that process is known as sublimation clear children the process in which solid directly changes into the vapor form or gases form without changing into the liquid that process is known as sublimation and those substance which undergo sublimation that process is known as sublime clear children now let us take an example to understood this suppose children we have taken a tripod stand and over it we have kept china dish and in this we have filled solid iodine it means iodine which is in the form of solid now we have taken a burner and start giving heat so when we start giving heat children we observe that this iodine which is from the solid changes start changing into the vapor form without changing into the liquid okay it means this solid substance directly changes into the vapor without changing into the liquid. So children, the conversion of solid into liquid, that, convert, that process is known as sublimation. And those substance which undergo sublimation, that process is known as sublime. So iodine is the substance which undergo sublimation. It means iodine is the sublime substance easy children and we can also get the solid iodine when we cool the iodine vapor on cooling iodine vapor can be converted into solid iodine easy children let us take a second example to understand the concept of sublimation in this example we will see how ammonium chloride undergo sublimation okay children Firstly, we take a some ammonium chloride, okay? The formula of ammonium chloride is NH4Cl in a china dish, okay? And place the china dish on a tripod stand, okay children? The china dish is covered with inverted glass funnel. This is an inverted glass funnel okay children and a loose cotton plug is put in the upper because why it is covered children because of that the gas which is formed from this ammonium chloride cannot be exposed into the air okay now the Chinese this is heated by using a burner Clear children? Okay. On heating children, what we observed that ammonium chloride which is in the china dish changes into the white vapors. And these vapors rise up and get converted into solid ammonium chloride on coming in the contact with the cold inner wall of the funnel see children how this happens children let's see when we give heat it directly this heat directly break the force of attraction between the particles of ammonium chloride and this solid directly changes into the liquid form when it exposed in the air form and when they expose in the air 
their intermolecular force of attraction which bind the these particles it becomes weaker okay and and it starts moving in all direction but we have already enclosed this channel is by a funnel children so it goes and come in contact with the inner wall of this funnel so when these particles get come in contact with these they will start solidifying in the inner wall of the funnel okay children in this way ammonium chloride collects on the inner side of the funnel in the form of sublimate and can be removed so children we have seen that of how ammonium chloride can be converted into the solid form okay now our new topic is evaporation okay children children firstly we have to know what is evaporation first of all let me explain the process of evaporation okay children evaporation means conversion of liquid into vapor or gas either by exposing the liquid in air or by boiling in the liquid okay children suppose i am taking a beaker filled with water we know this water is in the form of liquid okay children now water is in the form of liquid and we know that in liquid state there is some space between the particles that is they, their particles can easily move from one place to another place now we have closed their particles by a vessel clear children now when we kept this water in the vessel the particle is continuously move in all directions when the particles constantly move in all directions maybe some of the particles get collide with each other and when these particles collide with each other they lose their energy and deposited on the surface of the water okay children on the surface of the water but the condition is when we expose this water into the atmosphere and when we covered this vessel by a lid this particles will not surface on the deposit on the surface of the water the particles of the water will not deposit on the surface of water okay when we open this lid we found that these particles colliding with each other and get attached on the inner side and and there is also intermolecular force of attraction children in the liquid which bind all the particles together and when these particles get deposited on the surface of the water they will come contact into the particles of atmosphere okay children now they will take energy from the atmosphere and this energy known as surface particles energy okay children this is known as surface particles energy when the surface particles energy is more than intermolecular force of attraction between the particles then these particles moves the surface and exposed into the air that will convert into the vapor form concept clear children and in this way children the liquid continuously changes into the vapor form at any temperature so we can write the process of liquid changing into vapor even below its boiling point is called evaporation clear children whatever be the temperature note whatever be the temperature at which evaporation takes place the latent heat of vaporization okay children 
underline this the latent heat of vaporization must be supplied whenever a liquid changes into vapor it means that this particles take the latent heat of vaporization from other that is why they can be converted from liquid into the vapor form now children let us see what are the factor that affect the evaporation okay see the evaporation of a liquid depends mainly on the following factor that is temperature surface area humidity and wind speed and one by one we are going to study how these factor affect the evaporation see temperature the rate of evaporation increases on increasing the temperature of the liquid see children suppose this is wicker and we have filled with water now start giving heat children when we increase the temperature children temperature increase means we are giving more heat okay try to understand this concept temperature means we are giving more heat that is why the particles which are constantly moving they will can, they will collide with each other and can be converted into the vapor form this heat energy makes the kinetic energy high that is why when kinetic energy is high the particles starts colliding with each other and can be converted into the vapor form okay so we can write the the rate of evaporation increases on increasing the temperature of the liquid is it children second surface area of the liquid the rate of evaporation increases on increasing the surface area of the liquid let us take an example to understand this we have taken a two tube one is test tube and second is china dish okay children now keep the hot milk in this tube test tube and china dish after a while we observe that china dish will evaporate more rapidly as comparison to the test tube it is because china dish has more surface area as comparison to the test tube so children we can say the rate of evaporation increases on increasing the surface area of the liquid is it children now third is humidity the amount of water present children firstly we have to understood the what is humidity humidity means the amount of water vapor present in air it's called means um, amount of water vapor clear children it means uh, there is a increase of vapor water vapor into the atmosphere so with children we can see when the humidity of air is high then the rate of evaporation is low children you have seen that suppose we have hang our cloth okay on the roof suppose this is a wet cloth and in the in wet cloth it contains water so due to the collision of the particles they will de deposit at the surface of the cloth okay children but when there is a humidity humidity means children there is a increment of water vapor so how these surface energy of these particles will more the intermolecular force of attraction that is why when humidity of air is high then the rate of evaporation is low okay children wind speed okay children we can see 
that is wind is a speed it means the particles which is present in the atmosphere is their kinetic energy is high okay so the rate of evaporation of liquid increases with increasing with wind speed how see children when the speed of wind increases the particles of water vapor moves away with the wind and that decrease the amount of water vapor in the surrounding and this increases the rate of evaporation of water okay children you can take the example the washed wet cloth dry okay dry more quickly on a windy day because evaporation is faster due to high speed of wind clear children now let us see how evaporation causes cooling children we have already studied that whenever a liquid evaporate it must be supplied the latent heat of vaporization so the cooling caused by evaporation is based on the fact that when the liquid evaporates it takes the latent heat of vaporization from anything which it touches and by losing heat this get the this anything gets the cooled let us take an example to understand this topic now firstly we take an earthen pot and keep the water in it now close this earthen pot children in this water is kept children and water is in the form of liquid and i have told you children that the particles in water is constantly moving in all direction so there is also intermolecular force of attraction which binds the particles together but due to having space between the particles these particles start moving in all direction and when they will move move in all direction some of the particles will get collide with each other and they will deposit on the surface of the earthen pot till then earthen pot has some tiny pores on the surface of this okay the, and these pores allow the water coming out and deposit on the surface okay now and when they will come contact into the atmospheric particles suppose this is atmospheric particles which present in all everywhere now these particles these particles will deposit on the surface of the earthen pot now surface energy children surface energy of particles is less than intermolecular force of attraction okay now and they will not moved from the surface because the surface energy of these particles is less than the intermolecular force of attraction which bind the particles together inside the earthen pot okay now this is the condition that the particles will which deposit on the surface of the earthen pot they starts taking energy from inside particles which is present in the earthen pot they takes the latent heat of evaporation from inside the water and starts starting move away and exposed into the atmosphere and when they decrease the temperature inside the earthen pot because they have already taken the latent heat of vaporization vaporization and that makes the water cool clear children and in this case the evaporation causes 
equally. Okay, children. Now, children, we will see the difference between boiling and evaporation. Okay, because mostly children think that evaporation process and boiling process is same. And evaporation also the conversion of liquid into gas. Boiling is also conversion of liquid into gas. But children, both these terms are not same. Let us see how I am going to distinguish between evaporation and boiling. Children, evaporation is the process of conversion of liquid into vapor at any temperature. Okay? At any temperature below its boiling point. It means evaporation can take place at 75 degrees Celsius, 80 degrees Celsius, 90 degrees Celsius means below the boiling point of water. But boiling, it is the process in which a liquid turns into vapor when it is heated at its boiling point. It means boiling, it is the process in which liquid changes into vapor only when the temperature of the liquid will reach at the temp will reach at 100 degree celsius and after that when it reaches at 100 degree celsius in boiling process the liquid changes into vapor in evaporation second bubbles are not forms okay and in boiling Due to high kinetic energy between the particles, bubbles are formed. Third, temperature may change children. Okay, evaporation, temperature may change. But, temperature remains constant. I have explained earlier children, why temperature remains content, constant. It is because all heat energy which we are supplying, that to convert the liquid into gas that all heat energy is used to break the force of attraction between the particles. That is why temperature remains constant in boiling. Children, it is a surface phenomena and it is a bulk phenomena. It means the liquid start converting into vapor from their surface. But in boiling children, it is a bulk phenomena. Children, bulk phenomena means the whole system of the water start converting from liquid to solid from the bulk bulk means like this from this inside the water it starts coming into the vapor form okay children let us solve the question on the basis of evaporation see children what type of cloths should we wear in summer and why? What type of cloth should we wear in summer children? Summer season and tell me the reason also. Children, we should wear what cotton cloths in hot summer day. Okay, to keep cool and comfortable. This can be explained as follows children. See, children, we get a lot of sweat on our body in hot summer days. And cotton, cotton is a good absorb, absorber of water. So, it absorbs the sweat from our body and exposes it to the air for evaporation. And the evaporation of this sweat cools our body. Clear children? And the synth synthetic cloths do not absorb much of sweat, so they fail to keep our body cool in summer. That is why we should wear only cotton cloths in hot summer day. Okay, children.